In the 1920s, a group of young women suffered horrifying deaths, disfigured and butchered into walking corpses by the clocks and watches in the factory where they worked. This is one of the most gruesome stories in the history of science and corporate America, and it is not for the squeamish. It's the story of the Radium Girls. It's 1917, and glow-in-the-dark clocks and watches are selling like crazy. People love them. And to keep up with demand, the manufacturers hire young women to work in their factories. 19-year-old Molly Maggio is one of them, and she is delighted to have such a well-paying job. But she doesn't know it's going to change her from this, then disfigure her like this, and then end her life. Like the other women, Molly is a dial painter, but the luminous paint she uses contains radium. Her bosses tell her that radium is safe to handle, but it's not. It's one of the most lethal substances on the planet. Your body mistakes radium for calcium, and instead of getting rid of it, it stores it in your bones and teeth. Once there, it's constantly firing alpha particles directly into you. It mutates your DNA, kills your cells and tissue, and creates wounds that never heal. But you wouldn't put it in your mouth, would you? That's exactly what Molly's bosses tell her to do. Because radium paint is so expensive, they're told to apply it as thinly as possible with the tip of a brush by putting it in their mouth. It's called lip pointing. Molly does this hundreds of times a day. She gets toothache. It doesn't clear up and it spreads to other teeth. Her teeth start falling out. And when she visits the dentist, some of her decaying jaw just breaks off between his fingers. No one really knows why. Well, apart from the US Radium Corporation, the owner of the factory, they've had internal reports done, but they cover it all up. But the suffering continues. One woman's bones are so weak that when she goes out walking one day, her legs just snap. And then in September 1922, at the age of just 24, the radiation erodes Molly's jugular vein. Blood starts pouring out of her and she dies. The US Radium Corporation pushes for the cause of death to be listed as syphilis, which implies that she's a woman of loose morals. More and more young women fall ill and die, and eventually some doctors work out what's going on. Molly's body is exhumed, and the real cause of death is discovered, radium poisoning. When the surviving women find out, they sue the Radium Corporation and win, and they're awarded damages. But many of them are so ill, they die before receiving their payouts. It turns out the owners knew all along how dangerous radium was, and they wouldn't even handle it without protective equipment. So what happened to them? Nothing. There were no criminal prosecutions. But as a result of the case, employment law in the US changed forever. Employers could now be held accountable for unsafe working conditions. All thanks to the Radium Girls.